please welcome back to the stage your MC, Michelle McLean. Good morning. Well, are we all bright eyed and bushy tailed? All happy to be here. What a beautiful morning it was. I watched the sunrise in Miami. And uh, even though I live in Fort Lauderdale, it really is a true blessing just to be here. And also to be here for Inspire 23. Each and every one of you will have an amazing day today with the program we have ahead of us with the International Luxury Hotel Association. I'm Michelle McLean, your Director of Ceremonies. I'm originally from Namibia. As I said, I live in Miami, so I'm really fortunate. I have the best of both worlds. I go on safaris every couple of weeks, and then I come back, and I enjoy this beautiful, beautiful country that we have here um, and this beautiful state. So I represent a brand in Namibia called the Altaheimer and List Leisure Group. We have four different properties. We have one very special property in the Chobe Water uh, area. It's called Chobe Water Villas up north in Namibia. Um, for those of you who don't know where Namibia is, it's on the southwest coast of Africa, just above South Africa. Um, and for those of you who haven't gone on safari, you've got to come and visit my country very soon. Um, I also represent the... Um, government in Namibia for investment and tourism, the um, uh, Promotions Development Board, and uh, we obviously are trying to ensure that we have our tourism and hospitality industry improved over the next few years. Ever since COVID, it's been really, really difficult for many, many countries around the world, especially in Africa. But great to have you all here today. A big thank you to Encore, our partners, for sponsoring, um, and especially our AV and all the wonderful technology that we have. And so the rest of today is going to be exciting, a jam-packed schedule. We have um, many wonderful, wonderful speakers talking about innovation and trends in the hospitality industry. But we just want to say a very big thank you to our other sponsors, uh, to Travel Curious, who took um, some of you out on an excursion yesterday. Avendra for hosting the happy hour yesterday. I'm sure you all got to network. Please do so again today. The hub is upstairs. It's open all day, and we have a roundtable at 1.30. For those of you, um, please look out um, for our Chime Live app. The Chime Live app is from Encore, uh, or you can use the cue cards and you can look at the schedule. So please remember to do that. To Jupiter and Company for sponsoring the President's Dinner last night. It was absolutely stunning. And for those of you who had breakfast this morning, Table Mation, thank you for sponsoring our breakfast. And then this evening, please don't forget, after our wonderful jam-packed schedule, come and join us for the reception on the Eden Rock lawn right outside the hotel. It's going to be a fantastic evening indeed. So, we are going to start off today with an amazing speaker, and I just got to get to know him. Um, from World Hotels, please welcome on stage, Ron Paul. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We, we got a little bit of late start this morning. The fire alarm was going off, and like all good hotel years, we all just sat here and ignored it. So uh, we, we, we know how that works. Uh, thank you for being here uh, at the Inspire Conference and at the iconic Eden Rock Hotel. Uh, this is a world hotel that we're very proud of. For the next 30 minutes, I'm going to be sharing some thoughts on three specific initiatives. One, the shifting landscape of luxury travel and traveler expectations, how World Hotels is adjusting our strategies to these changing needs, and how you might consider approaching it for your hotel if you're a hotel operator. I think it's important that we all think differently about the ever-changing landscape and expectations of luxury travelers. It goes beyond just the demographics and prioritizing the true personalization that guests expect today. Our demographics are changing. Baby boomers currently represent over 20% of the travel spend today, but baby boomers are those that are 60 years and older, and with a life expectancy of 79.4 years today, You've only got us for about 20 more years. So we need to think about how are we going to evolve our 
guest experience at our hotels with the next generation of travelers, the millennials, the Gen X, the Gen Y, the Gen Z. And all too often, we, like millennials, we, we try to bucket them in what their expectations are. And I will tell you that that's not the right approach to do it. I have three children, they're all millennials, and they all have completely different expectations when they travel. As a matter of fact, there's only one thing that they have in common. You know what that is? Dad's paying. That's the only thing that they have in common. So, I'm sorry? Sponsorship. Sponsorship, yes. So the hospitality industry, we have to change to these evolving needs. Fortunate for us, post-pandemic, travelers realized that luxury travel was not only for the wealthy. We have an opportunity to continue this momentum if we adapt and adopt to these evolving expectations and emotionally connect to our customers. So the new expression is experiential travel. However, the very definition is in the eye of the beholder. It could be to connect, to learn, to find adventure, to truly unwind or relax. But no matter what, travel is perceived and the definition is uniquely common to that specific traveler. It's no longer based only on products or things. It's those intangible moments and that we emotionally connect with our travelers to their destination and their desires. All generations are willing to spend more on the perfect experience. So as we look at some of the travel insights, Forbes recently shared that in 2024, travel trend indicates that consumers will spend more on travel despite, uh, despite rising costs. That's a good thing. The next generation of luxury travelers will reduce other areas of their spending to make luxury travel a priority. And 64% of travelers will cut spending in other areas to prioritize travel. And as a matter of fact, Millennials and Gen Z actually plan on spending more money in 2024 on luxury travel than they did this year. So some of the key priorities of travelers, we're gonna dive into personal wellness. In terms of priorities, today's luxury travelers have a new focus. Personal wellness is number one, with health and relaxation at the forefront. Seamless Digital solutions. Seamless solutions follow closely behind. Our travelers crave simplicity and personalization during their stay. Modern travelers have shifted their values. Experiences now trump, uh, trump possessions be, and prefer culinary experiences, exploration, uh, thirst of excitement, they want to understand the area that they're traveling in. The next generation wants hyper-personalization. It's not just about a preference, it's their necessity. And the use of data to determine what that necessity is, is extremely important. Hotel business were lagging in personalization. Our CRM capabilities are not keeping up with the changing customer desires and needs. And if you look at brands like Amazon and others, they know everything about us, and our customers expect that we will do the same, and today we don't use that technology. It's important to remember that the hotel stay is just one element of the experience. Guests expect us to help them fulfill the rest of the experience as they travel to that destination. And certainly sustainability. It's no longer an exception, it's the expectation and the standard. Luxury travelers expect to have initiatives that demonstrate purpose for people and the planet. It's the right thing to do, and fortunate for us, there's actually financial incentives to do it today. So let's talk about seven types of travelers, and I like this because this is what uh, Booking.com, how they define their travelers for 2024. The first one is the 
alter or the ego enthusiasts, creating stories about their lives, being the best version of themselves, and recreating themselves while on vacation. We have the cool cationers, their water-centric vacations, wellness, and oftentimes going to cooler climates. We have the culinary excavators, venture off the beaten path, spontaneity, and nearly 50% of these travelers are relying on AI for their trip planning. The surrender seekers, venture off, oh, I'm sorry, I just spoke to that. The culinary excavators explore the origins of their destination. They want to try the food and they want the life experience of a local. The a la carte influencers, luxury on a budget, and they may be traveling closer to home. And finally, the mindful esthetes, luxury on a budget, uh, sustainable innovations, unique local and remote experiences. They are very mindful and responsible while they travel. So three areas that really are affected by technology in our industry, and by the trade show yesterday we saw all of the different technology options that are now becoming available to us. But it's a delicate balance how and when we use technology and AI for the guest experience. It's also important to recognize the importance that global brands can provide in the use and the, uh, the benefits of this data. Global hotel companies make the investments, they have the data, they have the analytics, they have the tools and resources that are difficult or almost impossible for an independent hotel to capture or afford. And loyalty programs are key to this as well. That's where we get the majority of our data. AI plays a transformative role in reshaping and influencing the travel experience in several ways. AI can personalize customer preferences and behaviors to offer tailored recommendations. In luxury travel, this could be bespoke experiences, exclusive destinations, or personalized travel itineraries that are based on individual preferences. It has the potential to revolutionize our operations, personalize guest interactions, and significantly boost revenue. It's not just a trend. It's a transition and a transformational force that is affecting our industry. Through AI, hotels can provide 24-7 assistance, handling guest inquiries, reservations, and identify personal preferences for their experience. It's about making each guest feel like a VIP with seamless and tailored interactions. AI algorithms analyze data 24-7. This means we can offer personal recommendations and services that transcend traditional accommodations. Suggesting local hotspots, customizing in-room amenities, AI empowers us to create unforgettable experiences for our guests. And it's not just about the stay, it's about crafting moments that resonate with our guests. It's using our loyalty programs and their repeat visits to identify the trends from previous stays. AI-powered chatbots with virtual assistants enhance the customer experience and service. It can be seamless and efficient way to communicate with our guests. And finally, with data analytics, AI processes large amounts of data constantly predicts customer preferences, market trends, the evolving needs of our clients and expectations. Beyond the guest experience, we can use it for operational efficiencies and cost savings. So by analyzing this data from the various sources, including guest feedback and staff performance metrics, we can eliminate bottlenecks in our processes, we can enhance the guest experience, and drive results through constantly changing data. So the future of hospitality as it relates to technology is bright. We have to identify ways to capture this information and use it to enhance the guest experience. 
So what is your plan for 2024? Have you done anything different? Have you looked at that, this information that is being provided on customer expectations and created strategies to evolve around that? I'm gonna talk a little bit about what World Hotels and what we've done to identify these differences and really try to make the experience at World Hotels unique. We started with a new vision statement, inspiring travel through unique experiences. And this is across the globe at our 160 hotels. We then began to connect in a different way to our guests. We call them the global citizen. And we define them as this. Well-versed in wonders of the world, global citizens crave adventures that make every experience unique. They're willing to go off the beaten path to discover authentic locale. This ethos extends far beyond their itinerary and into every element of how they travel seeking memories that are unlike any others. Luxury is more than just a place to stay. It's an opportunity to bring destinations to life and experience the world. It's our first connection with the customer. Yep. So at World Hotels, we believe it's important for it to be ingrained in the local culture and deeply connected in the communities where our hotels exist. For many world hotels, they have been in their communities for decades or even centuries, like the Eden Rock. These hotels are sought after by the global citizen, their unique histories and stories contributing to the overall character of the destination. Our role is to assist hotels in creating that story at every level of the team and connecting with the customers. So luxury, from my perspective, is about three elements. The location of the property is certainly a priority. We know that. But it's equally important who owns and operates that hotel, the team that operates that hotel, and their passion for what they envision the hotel to be. We help them create their story. We take time to meet with the owners and their teams to understand what their vision for the hotel is. We wanna feel their passion. We wanna help them create an identity that is their very own definition of luxury so we can communicate that on our global platform. We have a partnership that's committed to creating unique guest experiences and nurturing their connection to the community. So we call this Welcome to Our World. And Welcome to Our World further defines what I previously spoke about with our vision and mission. Craftsmanship is celebrated, details are thoughtfully considered, and experiences are immersive. Culinary offerings are locally sourced, spa treatments are inspired by age-old traditions, and walls are adorned by the work of emerging artists. Luxury blends seamlessly with authenticity, and the world outside inspires the one within. Never just a place to pass through, this is a place to truly connect with the soul of the city, the culture of the region, and the wonders of nature. We're trying to capture the customer and connect with them in a different way. We then move to the four pillars to, that create this process for each and every hotel. And we break the guest experience down into a world of your own, a world of care, a world of connections, and a world of good. A world of care is defined as, with more than 50 years behind us as world hotels, our heritage and hospitality runs deep. But the world hotels is decidedly modern. You'll notice it in warm greetings from associates that feel like friends, design and decor that amplify the region's natural beauty and guest rooms furnished with the finest of amenities. We move to a world of your own, speaking directly to the customer. We believe that luxury is truly in the eye of the beholder. For some, it's enriching their soul through a day at the spa, while others, it's a culture ex cultural experience that broaden the mind. Whatever your vision of luxury truly looks like, we're here to bring it to life. 
from hermit adventures to countryside retreats, and just about everything in between. Discover a world of hospitality tailored just for you. A world of connections. We believe that the business traveler is equally as important as the leisure traveler. And luxury means something to them. Through the hotel's alluring ambiance and amenities, guests begin their day inspired and rejuvenated. Whether you're looking for a seamless digital connection, connecting with colleagues or other professionals, the connections will be meaningful and ever everlasting. And the final pillar is a world of good. In the hospitality industry, we must all feel responsible and committed to sustainability, caring for people, the earth, and its beauty. And our hotels celebrate their diversity, their individuality, and reflecting their surrounding culture and people. We're proud that around the world, our independent hoteliers are investing in renewable energy, working collectively to protect our environment and for generations to come. We take it a step further with our sustainability efforts called EPC, Earth People in Community. And it is our goal to work in communities and strengthen them one community at a time, partnering with hotels and providing the necessary tools to create meaningful change. We're committed to including environmentally friendly practices, fostering a culture where diversity is created and celebrated, and giving back to those in need. Together as an industry, we believe we can truly make a difference in how we operate in the communities we operate in around the world. So after, now that you've learned a little bit about our, our World Hotels story, our initiative is to work with our hotels to help them create their story. We ask, we sit down in an immersion session and we ask these four questions to the entire hotel staff and management team. What is your story? Why do you exist? What are your staff values? Who are you? What is your luxury? How do you define it at your hotel? And your voice, how do you plan to stand out in this crowded space of luxury and upper upscale hotels? Once they answer those four questions, we begin to work with them to build the strategy. And I'm not gonna share with you the exact secret sauce that we use in that immersion session, but I will share that the process is similar to this book. I'm not getting paid to advertise it, I just think it's something that you might wanna consider as you create your strategies for 2024 and beyond. The four disciplines start with the focus on the wildly important goal. And the WIG is determined of what you want your hotel to stand for. What are the two things, one or two things that you want to excel at for your property? Once that's identified, then you act on lead measures. And that's identifying what strategies you need to put in place today to ultimately get to that end goal. The third step is keep a compelling scorecard. What gets measured gets done. And as you implement these processes, measuring the results and are they the results that you expected them to be. And finally, create a cadence of accountability, holding the team members accountable for their portion of the strategy that they are required to implement. The process can work quite effectively and it's what we found is these immersion sessions have been highly engaging and they're motivational to the staff. So they say a picture is worth a thousand words, a video is worth 1.8 million words, and a memory is priceless. So we've created a couple videos that I'll share with you this morning on how the hotels have embraced this and just begin to communicate their story to their customers around the world. Would you play the video, please? A very warm welcome to Grand Hotel Kyle 5. My name is Leo Holman. I'm the general manager of this hotel. Grand Hotel Kyle 5 is a real World Hotels luxury hotel 
has 121 hotel rooms and suites. We have 13 monumental meeting rooms. We have a Michelin star rated restaurant, a brasserie, beautiful gardens, which are 200 square meters um, right in the heart of the center of Utrecht. The philosophy of Grand Hotel 45 uh, goes way back. We chose, um, we chose the story of the past of uh, Grand Hotel 45 of the, the Teutonic uh, Monastery from back then. We were the residents of uh, Louis Napoleon, the brother of Bonaparte, this military hospital in which we built 44 hotel rooms, built it in 1824 by King William I. And, um, and we tell the story of all these historical celebrities that stayed here for a long time. It's not just about the beautiful buildings we have, it's also about creating memories and creating new experiences. In the end, the difference is made by people, both as guests as the people who work in hospitality. Welcome to the Collector Hotel. I'm Celine. And I'm Thibaut. The concept of the Collector is uh, based on the human habit of collecting. Uh, we believe that in every person there's a collector hidden. We believe that the hotel is a nice base camp to inspire our guests to share their stories and experiences with each other. And I think that's the best connection they can make. And our guests are curious for the world, adventurous, and always looking for the unexpected. They come here because it's off the beaten path and looking for to make memories to be part of their own collection. I think when you enter the collector, you get inspired by all the artworks you see around. For example, this uh, cassette wall. I think everybody has his own story, his feelings, his thoughts when they see this and uh, they can share these kind of uh, experiences and uh, stories with each other. And I think this is pretty unique. So these are the stories that came out of the immersion sessions and they recorded. And the, the beautiful thing about this is this was not done scripted. This was their goals of what they desired their hotel to stand for going forward. And we're adopting these practices at all of our hotels across the world to really begin to engage customers into these properties at a different level. So then you have to look at the measure of success. It does the strategy work? And oftentimes we use rating systems of percent nines and tens for overall experience, intent to recommend, or even a net promoter score. We're targeting the percent of 10 ratings only. It's about a perfect experience from the customer. But even more importantly, we're capturing their stories and asking them if we were able to create a memory or a story for them while they stayed in our hotel. And use that not only as a way to connect with them, but to verbalize how we are connecting with customers on a social scale. So, in closing, what I will share is I think that we are and will continue to experience the fastest changes in our industry and in our lifetime. Our customer demographics and their expectations are changing. The demand for luxury travel and unique experiences is increasing, and technology is advancing at hyperspeed. The luxury travel segment is exciting as it's ever been, and our guests are willing to pay handsomely if we do it perfectly. World Hotels can be a great partner, we're adding 30 to 40 hotels a year around the world because we're committed to exceeding every guest and every owner's expectations. But we have to continually challenge ourselves to think differently about our industry and customer expectations. With that, I thank you this morning. <laughs>